Isabel has been a chapel member since 2014. She served on the board for three years, board of directors. She is an active supporter of the chapel and a reader at the psychic fair. In fact, she spent quite a bit of time yesterday with us. We had a very good, good day. Isabel had a, has a bachelor's degree in international and Middle Eastern studies and a master's degree in national security and terrorism. Isabel has many unique abilities and one of them is the gift of languages. She speaks eight languages. I have trouble with one. <laughs> She's also currently studying Native American culture. Isabel is a native of France, has two adult children, enjoy, enjoys Tai Chi and Qigong. She loves Mother Nature and enjoys do-it-yourself projects. And we got a place for her in this chapel, right? <laughs> and now I'm going to ask Isabel to come back up and give her presentation. She spoke to me a little bit about it yesterday, and I think you're going to be really pleased. I will. Yeah. Thank Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Um, this song is actually pretty good because a couple sentences actually kind of resonate with what I'm going to talk about. <laughs> Hello, everybody. All right. I've got a microphone in my face. I'm like, don't poke my eye. So, all right. So it's funny how the universe uh, speaks to you. I've never had so many messages in my life. Um, in the last couple months and today I was supposed to talk about something but then last week I was watching TV a YouTube because I'm a YouTube fan mm -hmm. and something popped and I will let you know later on but it's like you know what um yeah I think somebody needs to hear that myself included um because I've had messages here a few weeks ago somebody gave me a message I'm like yeah mm -hmm. so Today, I'm going to speak about a subject that is dear to some of us that we've dealt with for a very long time. Um, it is one of the hardest thing in the world to do, probably because it runs counter to a powerful and primal need to feel safe, loved, and successful. In Isaiah 43, verse 18, 19, it says, I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in wasteland. What am I talking about today? I'm talking about letting go, which is not an easy task. And some people are still struggling from trauma, from whether it is childhood, um, trauma from somebody close to them, coworker, teachers, um, and I dealt with that for a very long time. For some people, it feels like a failure or a rejection. So letting go is not easy. You know, you feel like if I let go, um, then I didn't do well. It's my fault. It brings a sense of fear and worry. We think we cannot move forward if we let it go because our security blanket will be gone. I'm guilty of that, or I was guilty of that. At the most practical level, pushing continuously against a resistance burns down our available reservoir of energy. I think you say reservoir, but I say reservoir, sorry. Good to me. And it makes us less capable of doing anything well because we have the fear, we have the worry. Pushing too hard can end up getting you what you think you want, only to discover too late that there was a good reason it didn't come together in the first place. Resistance is a warning sign. One of the keys to living in a life of calm and purpose is the art of letting go. Again, resistance. You can cannot be at peace, joyful, if you hold on to something that is fearful 
and worrisome. If you want to have a more peaceful life, it is powerful to look at what disturbs your peace and letting go of what is causing you anxiety and frustration caused by others. A lot of time we think that all those fears and worries are our own. We own them. The power of forgiveness. You have to learn to forgive someone, no matter how bad it is, no matter how hurtful it is. You're not, you're not forgiving them for what they've done, but it's for yourself, your peace of mind. You have to love yourself. And I know for a fact that people take away your energy. So what let them do it? Letting go might seem very simple, but it's not necessarily easy. An idea of how things should be rather than how they are. And like I said, we either think that the problem is outside of us or we are the problem. But what if we accepted what things are like and then created change from a different place from wanting to create, to play, to love, and to explore. So, as I said earlier, I was sitting in front of TV, you know, trying to figure out something to watch. And most of the time I like to listen to um, people explaining things. And uh, as I'm, you know, I turn on the TV, turn on YouTube, and what is the first YouTube video I see? Letting go. One of my favorite, um, I, I will say creator, because he has so many messages, is Tyler Perry. Mm -hmm. His character, Medea. Mm -hmm. And so I saw this. And like I said, the universe has a weird way of bringing things into your life. I needed to know that I needed to let go. So I'm going to get back to this in a minute. A few weeks ago, I was here. Somebody gave me a message. And I remember because it was telling me, you know, don't go back to what you got rid of. It just happened that I did something that happened the day before. And I was like, okay, all right, I'm listening. I'm listening. I hear you. I'm listening. What I had to learn is to trust spirit and listen carefully. You can do things, but if you're not listening to spirit, you're not going to receive the message. You keep doing the same thing over and over, which I had been doing for years. It was the same thing over and over. So in the video, you can hear Medea say, if someone wants to walk out of your life, let it go. You can get depressed, but don't stay here too long. Get on with your life, especially if you know that you have done everything you could be to be the best man or the best woman you could ever be. When they realized what they're missing, it will be too late. What is that expression in English? The grass is not always greener. greener. Okay. Yeah, it's where you water it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so why are you wasting your life? making yourself miserable. I've learned that a long time ago. I don't need a man in my life to make me happy. I just need a dog with lots of hair. <laughs> and I remember one time, uh, and I know it's gonna be on YouTube, but oh well. <laughs> I remember having my dog in my, in my bed and I woke up in the morning and I was like, oh God, I thank you, Lord. There's nothing better than looking at my dog with hair and not an ex-husband with no hair. <laughs> and I and I use that constantly because, um, you know, people will ask me, how many kids do you have? I said, I have two, I have two boys. 
And I'll say, well, my oldest is 24 and my other one at the time, you know, I said, is about 13. I was looking at me and like, what do you mean? He's about 13. You're not sure. Didn't you give birth? I said, no, he's got four legs. So, <laughs> so yesterday, to tie in with this, I was getting gas at Costco and this lady was right in front of me. And I see the license plate and it says a uh, season. So I ask her, why the license plate? Just like Medea said. Some people come into your life for a season and some of them for a lifetime. Those who come into your life for a season do not prolong their stay by taking them back or trying to hold on to them. I'm guilty. You need to know which is which. Now, I'm not saying, you know, of course we have family, you know. That doesn't mean you have to keep them for life. You know, some of them have to walk away because they're too toxic for yourself. Let them go. Not by being mean, but maybe once they're away from you, they'll find their light. They'll find what they need to know, who they need to know. They need to know who they are. So let them go. You are people who were supposed to be married for a season and they're wondering why they have so much health in their lives. You know, you, I don't know. I mean, when I was young, I want to get married. I want to have babies, you know, and you don't think about, hey, it's a work of art. You got to work on your relationship. I had to learn my lesson after I got divorced. So they were only there those seasonal people are only there to teach you a lesson. One of them is to let go. Just remember that some of those people suck the life out of you, as my friend would say, they're a vampire who just take the energy away and make you tired. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not going to mention a person in this room, but I'm very grateful for her. I was in a relationship for three years, and at one point she told me, Izzy, you need to get rid of him. You look like you're 20 years old, older than what you are. Thank you, Elizabeth. <laughs> I got rid of him to the point where I told him this is not working. So more toxic to my, my ex-husband, very abusive, started crying. I'm going to kill myself. So my response was, when are you going to kill yourself? Can you tell me so I can open my bottle of champagne? <laughs> it is mean, but this does not work for me. Do not, do not play the victim when you've been sucking the energy out of me and accusing me of things. <laughs> I don't put up with that anymore. I used to, but I don't put up with it anymore. I am worthy and like the meditation, I'm powerful. I do not need bad energy, horrible energy, whatever you call it. We are unique. We are a child of God. And we all deserve the best. We deserve to be happy. We were put on this earth to be happy, to learn lessons, not to go through hell every single second of our life. Peace of mind, happiness, and joy are something you cannot buy every day. You can't go to the store and say, I want a, a pound of joy. You know, I want a pound of happiness. Recently, somebody told me, you know, you look happy. Oh, yeah, of course I am happy. Well, what do you do? I don't know. I'm just being happy. I mean, you might be driving by, by me and see me dancing in the car while everybody is looking like they're going to a funeral. I was like, you know, why are you so happy? If you don't make yourself happy, who is going to make you happy? No one can make you happy. And letting go is so important because you keep thinking of the same thing, you know, what, this person did this to me or this happened to me. And, and I know we all suffered from trauma, but 
you can't let things linger within yourself and make yourself miserable all the time. You're not in control of other people's madness. You are supposed to live your best life on this earth. Why would we waste our time with people who do not deserve us? And like I said, it includes friends, coworkers, family, neighbors, supervisors. I have a wonderful supervisor and I'm allowed to send little stickers. I know it doesn't mean much above and beyond you, the leader. And I told her, I've been in this country for a very, very long time. You are the top. You are the best. And when I told her that she was crying, I recognize people who deserve to be recognized because they need to know how worthy they are, how wonderful they are, and how much difference they make into my life. And in general, humans who have nothing better than to be miserable, jealous of you, they want to project their fear and their worries on you. Well, let, let Dina have my fears and worries. What do I care? I won't have to carry it. She can carry my burden. No. They want you to feel the same. And a lot of people, and I see it a lot, think that they will be happy, the world will be rosy once they get into that relationship with that per perfect person. And they're wrong. You're just there for a season. You need to learn a lesson. Of course, some people don't learn their lesson. They keep getting married over and over. If you are in a bad relationship, whoever it is, let it go. Go on a cruise. Go party. Celebrate. I recently had a soldier in my office and uh, he said, yeah, I'm going through a divorce. I'm like, congratulations. <laughs> and he looked at me, he's like, what? I was like, aren't you excited? You're going to learn things you've never been able to learn with that person. You're going to be able to go back to the things. And I asked him, I said, do you like going fishing? So, yeah, but I haven't been since, you know, the day I got married. I said, well, here's the reason. Congratulations. And then he opened up and told me certain things. And I'm like, don't you feel better? And he's like, well, now that I look at it, yeah. I said, it's the art of letting go. Let go of things that do not serve you. Do not hold back grudges, hatred that make your life miserable because it's going to make you sick too. Been there and I know what it feels like. Be the goose with the golden egg. Don't let that golden egg go away. Don't give it to anybody. Cherish that egg. Your peace of mind, your happiness depend on which direction you want to go not the direction someone else wants you to go. You are the master of your destiny. Mm -hmm. I said that in the meditation. Be the light that shines through the darkness. Let it shine as far as you can let it shine. Do not feel, forget to fill up your cup. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.